What's up virgins, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be playing NHL 21. Straight out of the gate, I just want to say I have little to no knowledge of hockey. I can barely ice skate, I can barely rollerblade. But growing up I used to play NHL 2005 and I remember I could throw people through the glass and break their arms, so that was something I really enjoyed to do. So we're going to be doing something similar to that. I hopped into career mode here and I started off by naming my player Johnny Sins. Position, he's a center, whatever that means. Jersey number, of course, we got to make that 69 for the man Johnny Sins. Nickname, I couldn't find anything better than just Dick. Real creative. Of, I know. Now I am building Johnny Sins just so he can be an excellent boxer out on the ice. I did this by making him 6'9 and 290 pounds, the biggest he can possibly make an NHL player. I turned fighter out too often, and then his birth country is North Korea which would probably give him the biggest penis in all of North Korean history. Now there's a ton of good hair options to choose from already. I have a red mullet, but I am going to make him look like the actor, doctor, security guard, astronaut, police officer, Johnny Sins. So I went with the bald haircut. Already it just kind of looks like him. I made sure to give him some baby blues as that is what Johnny Sins has, one of his key features. Second to his hockey stick. Made sure to give him the whitest one possible, and then I put some purple tape on the end. I didn't really bother with much of the other gear. I did make sure he had some pretty cool skates though. Gonna make those my favorite color. Made his only animation guitar solo, just seems right that he strokes on his stick. Now there's six archetypes that you can choose from. Sniper, Playmaker, Power, Two-Way, Grinder, and Enforcer. Enforcer was an easy option for me to choose from of the six archetypes, as a lot of his strengths are exactly what I'm looking for. I'm not looking to score, I'm just looking to beat people up, be as violent as possible. Now I did get to choose my team. I ended up choosing the Frolunda Indians. I chose them because Indians is now considered racist to be used as a mascot, and their team's red, just double-edged sword right there. After I'm done with this team, they'll probably be named the Frolunda Hockey Team. That or an army of she, her TikTokers will try to cancel me to the point that I paint my bathtub red or I add some extra weight to my ceiling fan. So I went ahead and started my career here. Hopping into our first game, you can pretty much see how this is going to go. First moments of my career here, and I'm already going for the big hit, but I end up taking out one of my teammates and helping the opposing team score on us. I did step it up pretty soon, though, as so I did get the hang of running into people and making them fall on their ass. It took me four minutes on the ice. I'm already getting my first piece of action when it comes to boxing. Oh, and he hammers him and sends him down to the ice. I love the flopping mechanics in this game. A few plays later and I caused my first injury by pushing this guy onto his wrist. Pretty proud moment for me, finally popped that cherry. Look at little Ro having to limp back to the locker room, little bitch. That'll teach him not to skate in front of me. Here you can see I'm just a freight train, anything I run into falls down and especially if I lower my shoulder into them. Even after the play I can run into them. I tried running into the goalie on this play but I figured out that you can't really do that. I ended up just slipping on a banana peel. And I did do a little bit of scoring. I am capable of doing that as I have it on arcade mode, but that's not really what I'm here to show. But Johnny Sins is a threat from balls deep. 10 seconds later after the goal and I cause an injury and have to pick up another fight. I think I really demoralized the opposing team as this guy's crawling around on the ground unconscious and then I knocked this guy out. I knocked this guy onto his ass causing another injury. But my third of the game. And here's my third fight. It's a close fight, but that is my third win in a row, making me 3-0 on the boxing aspect. Directly out of whatever this play is, I ran right into the center by just taking on his leg. Number 54 again wanted some more smoke. My fifth fight of the match and my fifth injury. And down he goes! The cap for each game is you can only fight five times. So at this point, I was just running around trying to wreak as much havoc as humanly possible. I'd say I did pretty decent at that. Second game here and we're playing the same team and I'm doing about the same style. I start off by tackling this guy and rolling on him. We ended up getting pretty intimate on our first play. I did lay out a few other players before getting into my first fight, 16 minutes into the first period. Oh, and he caught him right there and that'll pretty much do it. Yeah. Number 54 again wanted the smoke, but again I knocked him out. I believe I knocked him out three times already up until this point. Don't know why he keeps coming back to me. I mean, I am trying to murder his teammates, so I understand that. But really, it's not a wise idea to try me like that. Here you can see old Johnny's looking pretty beat up only after a handful of minutes of play. Here you can see I'm not even really focusing on the game aspect. I'm just focusing on hurting players. It's probably the most fun thing to do here. This is really what I would just try to do growing up, and it's a real pleasure to be doing this again. Here I win another fight against Marty. Again, he's just getting his ass beat by me. He's probably gonna have to walk home after this game. I don't think the bus is gonna want to pick him up. Hey, hey little QC say, tell him to come back and get him, yo. This guy gives Johnny Sins an accidental blowjob. Love it. Nothing we haven't seen before. And here my own teammate gets into a little bit of a scuffle, but here comes my dumbass just coming in flopping all over him. Almost paralyzed myself on that play, but I got back up quickly. I will say NHL 21 is a lot of fun to play. I have a great time just going around hurting people. 
I kind of grew up doing this as a toddler. This is what I would do in my free time. I'd play this, NBA Live 05. One of the games I also played was NASCAR 2003. And I didn't know a single thing about racing, just like I don't know a single thing about hockey. But I did the equivalent of what I'm doing here by just going the opposite way on the racetrack and blowing up as many cars as possible. Here's some more hits by Johnny Sins. At this point, I think I hit the maximum amount of fights. Just taking out the majority of their team. Now here we had a new team to play, but I'm going to play with the same style, just knocking everyone on their ass blindsiding everyone. Here's one of my best hits right here, but I did take an L here. First one of my career as M. Lee Galt knocked me out in a close match, making my fighting record 8-1. and one. But That just put a target on that guy's head right there. It became personal with me. I knew by injuring one of his star teammates to come back to me, and sure enough, he did. This Lee Galt guy does have a mean right hook, but I Muhammad Ali'd his ass and knocked him out on the ice, bringing us to a 1-1. Then later, I just went on to target him. I didn't even care about the game. I just wanted to bully him into making a third fight between us two. And sure enough, I got that eventually after bullying him for a few minutes straight. And here you can see me knocking him out. I still have half my health. That's best two out of three for me. I think I finally put that guy in his place. And that brought my boxing record to 10 and 1. Now I'm not the smoothest hockey player, so I did have a few miscues. Here I'm trying to take out one of the opposing players by just ending up laying out number 12, my own teammate, and then walking over another teammate. But I did get pretty good at bullying people repetitively. It is easy to knock them down again after they're just getting up like I do here. And here I lay a pretty punishing hit, which of course leads to my fifth fight of the game. But I ended up knocking out Mr. Champagne here, bringing my fighting record to 12 and 1. Third game here and pretty much my first seconds on the ice and I find a fight for myself. I delivered a handful of mean right hooks and knocked out this Russian. A few minutes later, I injured another player and got into another scruffle with D. Angsan. Don't know any of these players, I'm probably mispronouncing it. But I will say this guy whooped my ass pretty quickly. I wasn't really aware that my health was going down so much. So I took my second loss on the boxing ring bringing my boxing record to 13 and two. But like I did earlier, this guy's gonna have a target on his back throughout the whole rest of this game here. This guy's just in fetal position behind me in the goalie post while I beat the senses out of his big Russian brother. Now here are some more of my highlights of the game. And when I say highlights, I just mean me playing tackle football on the ice. But I will say for somebody who doesn't really pay attention to hockey that much, it is a lot of fun to play this game. This play here, they let me take out three players before injuring one. I think I already had my five fights in at this point, so they just let me do whatever I wanted to. The refs aren't going to do anything about it. But then at this point, I accidentally ran into one of my players, which made me drop my hockey stick, but I don't actually have to pick it back up. And really, there's no reason for me to do so because I'm not actually trying to play hockey. I'm just trying to hurt people. And I'd say it worked out pretty well as I just tossed this guy. And of course, Mr. Jernate wasn't too happy about that, but that didn't really matter as I knocked him out again for the third time in a row. Now we had just score here, so we were having a puck off, whatever the hell they call this in hockey. And then less than a second later, I'm already getting into another fight. And no problem at all, I knock out Mr. Marcinko, bringing my fighting record to 26 and 2. Threw this guy through the goal post, one of my favorite animations that I can do. I went through the draft process, there wasn't a lot to it, it's just a bunch of text interviews and dole animations. I did find this question interesting though from the LA Kings. They said, you're playing video games with your friends all night and it's getting late. They asked you to play one more game, what do you do? I don't never leave my boys hanging like that. This is a real life answer. I took this question to heart. I told them I keep playing, can't leave my friends hanging like that. But I was drafted second overall by the LA Kings. My guy doesn't even fit on the screen. Neither would my cock. Took me a few seconds into my first match, and I'm fighting in the big leagues. I took on Mr. McNabb. He had me down in the first half of the fight. Strong uppercut sent his helmet flying. Then him delivered a few mean right hooks. Knocked his ass out on the floor with no health remaining on my part. I knocked this guy out right here and I threw the gloves off, but I, I didn't really understand where the fight was coming from. So here I just decided to play without a stick. One of my favorite things to do. Makes it real easy for me to knock out people as so I don't have to worry about the whole hockey aspect of the game. Just focus on tackling people. Here I injured another player, but for the first time in my career, I had to fight a black guy. That did not go very well for Johnny Sins. Mr. Colesaw here probably has some girth, maybe some length on Johnny Sins. Probably a mind trick on him. Now that makes me 0-1 against black guys and 28-2 and against white guys. We're down early, but that's not my concern. My concern is knocking out and hurting as many players as possible. So I'll go ahead and hop right into that action. But Ms. Selig wants to get wise with one of my teammates later on. But thankfully, Mr. Johnny Sins knocked him out after almost taking no damage at all while well, he probably lost a few years of his life and is probably going to shoot his family later on on this play i think i almost killed number 32 here he just laid limp on the middle of the ice now i'm not saying i am comparing him to keontae johnson but i'm just saying it would be messed up if i were to compare him to keontae johnson by getting knocked out on the floor like that that would be not cool and i will definitely cut that out of the video so people don't get mad at me for making fun of a guy who's in a medically induced coma 
Obviously, I would never do that. But after beating Vancouver, I realized that in this game you have salary perks. And the reason your salary matters and how much money you have is because you can actually buy vehicles and property, things like that in the game. So I made it my goal to be able to buy one of these things and see if anything happens. There are some pretty cool things in this. I wish 2K would do something like this and actually have cutscenes and stuff like that. That's probably 20 years down the line, even though the technology is sitting right there. An accountant, a chef, driver, sex slave, lawyer, doctor, PR manager, prostitute, photographer, stockbroker. But I'm just going to have to save up so because I, I only have $19,000, so we're going to do some cutting through this. But here we are in my last game of this video. Just wanted to get a few more fights under my belt. Early on, I got a pretty easy fight. Number 59. He had some good defense, but I had some better right hooks, and I knocked the shit out of him. Hurt this guy so badly, he could only move his foot. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. But here, of course, 65 wanted to fight my teammate. I couldn't do anything about it but watch. I tried to stop it. I tried to jump in, but they wouldn't let me. But I got some payback on pretty much this whole entire team, but they wouldn't allow me to fight again. Knocked this guy's helmet off just from one push. Had to get him out of the game. Took out a few more, even multiple at a time. But really, I'd say I had a pretty successful career here. I don't know much about hockey still, but I do know a lot about fighting and running into people and hurting people and just being a freight train and cause of destruction. Here you can see I currently have $46,750. I saved up just enough money to get a Honda Fit. And this is a good car. I put it to the test. Yeah. I have one of these. Yeah. yeah. That's all I really wanted in my career. Now I can sit back and retire, live out of my car. Thank you guys for watching. This game was a lot of fun to play. Thank you guys for 30,000 subs. I'd like to see that at 69,000 subs sooner or later. No rush. I'll probably be getting back to 2K by the next video. I just wanted to branch out for a while. Just kind of getting burnt out by it. If you guys have any game recommendations that you might want me to try out, feel free to let me know. Also, if you have any porn recommendations, make sure you go leave them down below. If there's any pussies in the comment sections, make sure to tear them apart. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.